I will go I will go anywhere you lead me yeah. I will go because in this world of men believe me when I tell you who likes you matters are we together the power of relationships I wish I had time I would have taught you on the four kinds of relationships basic kinds of relationships you need in your life maybe I should summarize it in one minute I may not give you some. the greatest thank you gift you will give to me is to use the things you are learning don't just carry your notes and run back home and say this was a powerful program you would have wasted the time of your pastor give your best to eat and change your life like night and day number one divine connectors the first kinds of destiny helpers you need in your life they are called divine connectors these ones do not have what you are looking for but they know who has what you are looking for you need them an example of this is the slave girl she could not heal Naaman but she could link him up with a prophet who could heal him the secret for of receiving from divine connectors is discernment and humility because divine connectors will usually come in a form and a fashion that they don't look accepted it can be a conductor of a boss who will give you the poster of a program here some of you it is amazing how you found out that this program was working divine connectors someone may even be saying it in passing do you know Many years ago, there's this shirt, when they are doing programs, then in Zaria, there, there will be this shirt, not our own program, but there are programs that people will wear shirts, and sometimes these shirts fall into the hands of some of these Hausa boys and the rest, and they can wear the shirt running around playing football, and someone can look through the shirt, ah, what is happening there? That person passed, he was just running wearing a shirt, but strangely was a divine connector. Are we together sometimes someone can sit down you just stay to take a bottle of mineral quickly from a shop and you hear someone a message playing who is this that is playing that message and they tell you oh that's nice and say, ah, that man's church is somewhere in kubwa here and you just say let me go and check out and that becomes the beginning of a defining moment can i tell you for those of you who only respect the people who are rich be careful you will be in trouble it's good to honor all men because divine connectors come in forms that it takes discernment to see. Number two, still talking about relationships and destiny helpers. Number two, the second category of people that you need if you really want to rise are called men of influence. Men of influence are gatekeepers. They are the captains and gatekeepers. Their credibility matters to your rising one person's signature can sort you in this abuja your prayer request the answer is already in abuja moving in a car every day apostle i'm trusting god for a job you'll be surprised who is sitting down right now i'm begging someone to find 10 people and bring because of relationships you know what i'm talking about in fact let me be honest with you and and i don't don't feel bad when i came into this city I was shocked at the the way growth happens in this city is 80 percent maybe fairly 70 percent relationships more than competence one person can like you and call you and say they are allocating lands your father did something nice before he passed on i hope you'll be a good child and you'll be laughing you think it's one plot of land they gave you until you get there and you are tracking like you are lost all that land is yours Are we learning yes, don't trivialize men of influence don't see people moving around and then insult them and say these people are eating our money not everybody is a thief until you hear their own story don't see every young man that is blessed and just say these are yahoo people these are you were not there when they are paying their price not everybody is a thief you must redefine your understanding
there are people who can defend the blessing of God upon their lives men of influence a dear man that I respect so much very wealthy and blessed man in this city one day he was giving me a story and he said there was a man who started a Biru the change is one of the top Biru the change people in this nation and he said the man came to him a Muslim for that matter when he came to him he said he was going to start a business like this and you know these yellow notes that you start you what they call them sticky notes thank you he just wrote a little he said kindly consider and put his signature he said he should take it to a particular bank that is now defunct when he took it there the people tried to drive him and he said I was sent leave me alone and eventually when he got there he met the woman the, the person who was managing the branch there. she said how did you who brought you here and when they gave that she looked at it she took a deep breath and laughed and said how did you meet this man and the outside man was just speaking all kinds of things cut the long story short when God lifted that man he came and he met the wife of this man and knelt down and said this is the first profit I'm making from my business Muslim he said please let me give it to you the one said what for I'm just happy you are rising he said no please collect something from it and the woman looked at him she said I like you when the woman who is married to your destiny helper likes you I hope I'm not wasting your time he said you're a wise man because of course the man will not go what is he going to do with the money but he begged her he said please take something from it and she laughed you know what these are people who are billionaires what am i going to do with your profit how much have you made you know and then he spoke to her husband this is him telling me she said please let's help this man that was it today he's like number two or three within this nation can i tell you the truth men of influence are powerful this thing called signature it's not a cause that thing is a blessing he said whose son are you that was what they asked david saul asked where are you from whose son are you let me know if i'm wasting my time or there is a covenant that backs you men of influence i'm saying this because we are going to pray there are some of you that the book of remembrance needs to be open for you that somebody when hard things when when simple things look hard is because you have not met a man of influence when god wants to give you acceleration he will connect you to somebody who is a gatekeeper there are people who may hate you let me tell you this when god wants to bless you he will make your enemies your en the person your enemy respects to like you that way it does not matter what, what you, problem you have with your enemy again if i hate you and the person i respect likes you that was what happened between haman and mordecai haman hated mordecai but haman respected the king when god wanted to shame haman he made the king to like mordecai it was haman that prepared the horse and kept dragging it as haman was on top of that horse bow the knee and Hamas, her man went home with shame and told his wife. And she said, What is that? Where is that man from? He said, He's a Jew. He said, You are finished. The Jew. You have not started dragging that horse yet. You will drag that horse again and again. Can I tell you this? Please listen to me. There are people today who got admission. Their jam was not enough. But as they were moving, they stumbled across a register of advice. They thought he was just a gate man. What are you doing here, sir? I'm a widow. I'm, I mean, my mother is a widow. I'm the son of a widow. This is the whole thing. And he just looks at him and says, Come next, come tomorrow. Tell them to take you to room 212. And the naive person will just come to room 212, not knowing that is the registrar. The key to receiving from men of influence is honor. Honor is the key to access. Don't trivialize results when you see it. Don't commonize it. Don't explain it away. You may do that to your detriment. There are people today who, when God opens a door, the men they have offended will close it. You don't know men can close doors? Go and read your Bible. The Bible says, I am 
he that was dead and i hold the key of david and i can open a door that no man can shut that means there are certain doors that men can shut this man i remember pastor has prophesied favor and while you are going because of carelessness in dishonor someone says you know what what is the name of your father uh, his name and you excitedly say it and he remembers in 1971 your father did something to me he says okay you just write an abbreviation on your form you think he said it's a special recommendation that that code he has written there that form will remain there for 10 years I pray for someone here in the name of Jesus Christ if there is anything that represents an embargo that will allow that will not allow ease to walk in your life let it be cancelled right now for let it be cancelled right now forever